The Global Peace Foundation and Alliance Defending Freedom and Vision Africa have advised youth in the country to avoid being used by selfish politicians to actualize their political ambition. The group is championing this as part of its social corporate responsibility to the youth of the country as the country prepares for the 2023 general elections. The aim is to continue to sensitize and raise the consciousness of the Nigerian youth on the need for them to take voting in the next general elections seriously. The major stakeholders in the project gave this admonition during the summit ahead of the 2023 general elections. The hope of tomorrow, hope of tomorrow, and the rainbow, hope of tomorrow, rain has come, hope of tomorrow. And as I said, you have not even saved any money to marry. You can't give this around you because there is no resources. Somebody say, hope of tomorrow. And you are getting closer to your dream. And we must accept responsibility. And in taking responsibility is to be civic and to be responsible Nigerians. Youth agency built on the foundation, vision, discipline, willingness for the growth of the human community, vision that recognizes entrepreneurship and the ability of a young person to participate in what we call the common good. It is this vision and understanding that helps the partner chance to invite all of you today. And I challenge us to look for ways that we as youth will look at this in the spirit of what it is a dialogue. We are not here to do a sprint. Dialogue will take a time. Dialogue will take rubbing the minds of one another to hear what my neighbor has to say. And I listen to you, you listen to me, and at the end of the day, we'll come up with a blueprint that will work for us. Nigeria is good and blessed. If a lot of our police, the youths, have run away, lands, greener pastures. We cannot deny that indeed they are green. But they call them also the American dream. Until we are all as citizens of Nigeria are able to participate effectively the vow of any form of violence in election, then we can boldly say we are in a free society. These learnings that will come out from this youth inclusive dialogue will further strengthen our democracy and electoral participation, as well as inform more inclusive strategies to free and reduce electoral violence for all citizens. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.